Hi, and welcome to this video on Trash Chest 4.0. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that I have kind of a thing for trash chests and clocks. And in this case, this is the fourth iteration of trash chests that I've come up with. Now, each trash chest has been a little bit better than the last, but the biggest problem I've run into with the third iteration is that it tends to get broke in certain circumstances. So I came up with an unbreakable trash chest, and let me show it to you real quick. This one's a little more complex than ones I've done in the past, but it's not much bigger, and it works really, really well. So as you can see, I put the uh, sandstone in there, and you can see it being dumped into the lava down here. It is actually activating fairly quickly. It's dumping fairly fast, and there is no piston noise, just when it engages and then when it disengages, which is a big bonus over some other designs I've seen that the piston is going in and out and in and out and in and out constantly and driving you nuts. So let me show you how to build this. If you look in my hotbar, you can see that I have everything I need. That's it. I mean, this is not a very big build at all. Obviously, this line here is where your floor would be. So the trash chest is above, all your mechanics are underneath. Now we'll go over here and we're going to dig a hole where our lava is going to go and to get us set up to place a dropper. Now here I left the glass in so that you could see how it worked, but it's not necessary. And the lava is going to go down in here. Now you could use a cactus instead. Don't forget, lava starts wood on fire. So I sometimes get comments, oh, I burned my house down. Yeah, the, the basic mechanics of Minecraft don't change. So uh, keep that in mind. Maybe use a different way of disposing things. Uh, but we're going to go down here and we are going to place our dropper. And then I'm going to go up here, place the lava and close things back up. All right, now if you look, we've got hoppers coming in from two directions and we're using a double chest. Now the reason we're doing that is because that by coming in at two different angles, we can actually basically double the speed at which this dumps. Not only that, because this dropper is almost always full of something, it keeps this piston engaged and prevents it from going in and out. So if you're trying to do just one chest wide, it's doable, but you're not going to like it. Uh, look at some of my other designs and see if those will work for you. So we're going to go with the hopper here. Now, remember to crouch or hold the shift or sneak or whatever you want to call it when you place that. Again, I get a lot of comments saying, I can't put the hopper onto the dropper. Why doesn't this work? You got to sneak. All right, so we're going to put another one there. And same thing here, still holding crouch or sneak, putting that there. All right, now the chest goes on top. Now this is a trapped chest. The reason it's a trapped chest is because we don't want the trash to start falling down into the lava before we know for sure we want it to do that. So what happens here is if you watch, we throw some sandstone in here, nothing happens to it. A regular chest, it would already be dumping in. It's not until it closes that it actually will start falling down in, all right? So then we're gonna go over here and we are gonna add our comparator. And this is what senses if there is actually something in that dropper. And if there is, it's gonna fire this piston. And of course there is something in there because I just threw something in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a dropper, or I'm sorry, an observer right here, and the other observer right here. Now you see how it's blinking? What I've just done is created a clock. And it's gonna keep pulsing like that until the other observer is not in front of it anymore. So we put our redstone here, and it is now working very shortly. This will turn off and all of our stuff will be gone from that chest. And it's all gone. See how well that worked? So that is a very, very straightforward build. As you can see, it's only four wide by, what is that, four or five tall, depending if you leave a block underneath for the, for the lava, and three tall. Pretty small build, pretty bomb proof. Uh, so, as always, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share. And if you didn't like this video, please keep it to yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.